I'm up here in the Arctic to study this place out here, this so-called frozen world. And one people always think this is a frozen world. Well, it, it is, but it's not. It's one of the richest seas in the whole world, right here, with all this ice all around. This is a very special system. We've got walrus, we've got whales, we've got all these animals up here, and it's very special. There are some models that predict that during the summertime, we might have a completely ice-free Arctic Ocean. This is not the system I studied when I was a graduate student in the 80s. It's changed very much, and uh, the question is why and where's it going? Sailing aboard the Healy, the scientists are looking for the answers to those questions. The goal is to study the Bering Sea from many angles, to see what's happening at the surface and in the water. And when we're at a station, we're trying to do all of the oceanographic uh, sampling that everybody on board wants. And we, we've got about 30 scientists on board right now. Each scientist is studying a different piece of the puzzle. They're looking at sediment from the seafloor, small species, bizarre species, and everything gets packed up and shipped home for analysis. I think that some of the, uh, the slimier creatures that we've come up with that end up taking such bizarre shapes are probably some of the more interesting ones that I found. But. You can't study one thing. I mean, I think that studying the ecosystem, understanding who interacts with what. Well, I think what we're worried about is that in 20 or 30 years, this is going to be a completely different system. It's astonishing. You know, it's a dynamic habitat. It grows, it recedes, it piles up, some of it's blue. It's got a variety of colors. It's, it's fascinating. 